Hey everybody, Will Hamilton, Jan Ozu. Hi guys. And Jan is gonna run us through his ultimate how to beat a pusher drill. That's what I call it. You actually have a different name for it. So why don't you walk us through this drill and tell us what's going on. Well, I call it the inside man. And uh, I'm actually very happy about the success of that video, how to beat a, pu beat a pusher. So we're gonna really push that and layer it some more. Okay. okay. Just try to give them more elements that they can work on. Essentially, it's avoiding moving back. Okay, the pusher feeds on your enforcers and wants to buy time. So if you back up behind the baseline, you're essentially fitting into their game. So to train that, I'm gonna have you stand inside the baseline and essentially just stick everything inside the baseline. If it's a short ball, you move up. If it's a ball that's a moon ball, you take it in the air. You just do not allow yourself. All right, so we're not, allowed to, we're not allowed to come back here. Absolutely we have to, not. We have to just rally, but everything's inside the baseline. Absolutely not. And what you'll notice is you will start to automatically, intuitively, use modern footwork, and you will also be aggressive and take the ball early, and then your options are going to start to make sense. You're going to see the court in a very, very different light. And once you start doing this, you're going to get comfortable playing these, these shorter balls, playing up. That's Absolutely. going to take time away from the pusher, which is how you beat that type of player. Exactly. So you're not allowed to move behind the baseline. All right, let's do I it. I can already tell that... You, you, you haven't done this exercise in a long time because you're very close to the baseline. Okay, so really try to move up a little bit. All right, so there I want to actually go. stand up and not right back at the baseline. Huh? Absolutely, you don't okay. want to hug the baseline. You okay. really want to get comfortable inside. And our job is not to back up. Okay, and All automatically right. you notice that we're taking the ball early. Okay, if I play the ball high, you're going to take it in the air. That's it. All right, so am I trying to All put right. it away or? Very good. Well, just, right now we're just trying to work right. on it so we get comfortable. All right, obviously, so that last, as we get better. That last ball had a little too much angle on it, huh? Uh, that's okay. I mean, you know, I like to be challenged, but for the red players out there, you really want to keep it to each other at first, okay? So if I start moonballing you a little bit like I would Correct. if I if was a pusher. If you start moonballing, I'm going to move up, take it All early, right. or even take it in the air, okay? All right. Because I don't want you to get time. And what people will notice is this scary land in the middle of the court is not so scary after all. After, after you kind of get used to it a little bit. So I'm giving you a lot of moon balls like the pusher right. would so people can see what they're supposed to do when they're playing that type of opponent. So you got some swinging volleys in there, some half volleys. A lot of dynamic footwork. Absolutely. And then so it people really start works on your stamina as well. Yeah, I was going to say, people are going to start to feel this pretty quickly. There's some, so I'll switch to some slice right now. Sort of some slice moon balls. And you notice we haven't backed up yet. Yep. Okay. I don't think I've crossed the baseline. Ooh, frame. Good. Oh. Excellent. 